Yo, what is going on, LXD family? Um, hopefully, every single one of you guys have been having a great uh, Push 90 challenge. You guys are really challenging yourself um, to get to the next level, right, guys? And I'm extremely excited to be able to bring upon the topic of today, and that is the seven steps of writing a personal development plan, why this is so important, right, guys? Because remember, right, the more, the more you grow as a leader, as a person, right? The more everything around you begins to grow as well. Your leadership begins to grow. Your organization begins to grow. Why? Because you're developing yourself and you're making room to be able to develop other people. And so guys, it's very important that, you know, you, you know, your income will always be in direct correlation to your level of development within yourself and the development within your group, right? So first things first is you want to go ahead and set a goal, right? What areas are you looking to, you know, grow yourself, right? Whether that is in business, whether that is in life, right? Whatever that, that is in skill sets, right? Whatever the case may be, figure out what exactly you're looking to develop in. You know, oftentimes people start to pick up books, people start to pick up audios in areas that are interesting to them, but things that they don't necessarily need to know right now to get them to the next level, right? And so be very intentional and figure out, okay, what is my goal and what areas am I looking to grow? What kind of change am I trying to make in the environments that I'm in inside of the organizational position that I'm in right now? Number two, prioritize these goals. Figure out, okay, what is the most important? Sometimes we have goals, but we don't prioritize our goals based on what is most prone to help us get to the next level as soon as possible, right? So we're actually delaying our success just by not prioritizing what goals are more conducive towards the success, the success of myself and the success of the collective right now, right? Number three is set yourself deadlines on when you actually want to go ahead and achieve these goals. See, oftentimes people set goals, right? But if you don't have a goal with a deadline, guys, guess what? It's not really a goal at all, right? It's just something that you hope would happen or something that we would like to happen, right? But what a goal, what a date is, right? It gives us something to work towards. It gives us something to continue to allow us to be urgent and continue to move forward, right? And not procrastinate. See, most people, when they create a goal without a deadline, they procrastinate. They don't hit those goals, Right, guys, I want you to understand your goal is not meant for you to hit by a specific amount of time, right? It's a target. Your goal is to make you become the person that is necessary in order to hit that goal, right? So don't focus on the time. Just focus on what you're doing within the time frame that you've given yourself, right? Number four is recognize the threats and opportunities, right? Understand that with setting any type of goal, personal development, anything, right? Understand that there are going to be threats. There are going to be trials and tribulations, things that are going to come in front of you, right? They're going to, whether those are words, environments, people, right? Information, regardless, guys, what kind of threats do you know are going to be attacked? Spirituality, your emotions, your mentality, and your capacity are the things that are going to be challenged in this process, right? The continuation, endurance, that is a threat. Fatigue is a threat, right? Identify your threats and then identify your opportunities, right? Figure out, okay, what are some areas that I'm, I'm, I'm good at that I can expand on more, where I could develop on even more, where I can increase my level of understanding a little bit more, right? So figure out the areas that, you know, you need to develop within yourself with room for improvement that you have with the awareness that you have, right? Maybe you need to work on your self-confidence. Maybe you need to work on your posture, right? Maybe you need to work on your discipline and your consistency, right? Figure out and become aware of the areas where you have room for improvement, right? And begin to orchestrate the right information and the right environments into your life that help you work on these areas, Right. Number six is use your support network. Right, guys. Understand that. Look, you want to have people that you're, that are, are notif notified on the different areas where you are looking for growth so that they can be a support for you so that they can hold you accountable. Right. Support isn't always, hey, you could do it. Right. But it's also holding you accountable for what you said in, in, in case you begin to slack off. And begin, in case you start to, you know, fall back on your word, there are people that are helping counsel and hold you accountable, right, to achieving whatever it is you set in stone that you wanted to get done or get accomplished, right? And then number seven is measuring your progress, 
right, guys, it's very, very important that you begin to measure progress, right? Because as you're taking action towards your goals, it's very easy not to see how far you've came or how much you've done in a specific time frame, right? But if you can measure your progress and track your process, right, you can say, hey, look, I have so many more reasons to continue to trust the process and to look at all the reasons why I shouldn't trust the process. I'm making all this progress already. Look how far I've came. Look how much I've developed. Look how much the people around me have developed. Look at how much is changing. Right, guys? So measure your progress. Reflect on how far you came. Right, guys? And so this is how I would orchestrate a personal development plan. Right. So personal development isn't just, OK, what am I tuning into? It's very intentional figuring out, OK, what do I need to work on? What are my goals and what kind of information is going to put me in congruent with my goals? What kind of information is going to make me congruent? Right. Um, and what kind of environments are going to make me congruent to my goals? Right, guys. And so I challenge every single one of you guys to create a personal development plan by first setting yourself goals, prioritizing these goals, set yourself deadlines that you want to achieve these goals. Number four, recognize your threats and opportunities and developing your skills or increase your knowledge in areas where you know are, are needed to grow and get to the next level. And so use your support network, you know, to encourage you throughout the process. And last but not least, like I said, measuring and tracking your progress but guys, have a great one. Hopefully you got some value from this. I right, definitely take this challenge and apply it to every single area of your life. Right, because I can guarantee you one thing, right, in the next 90 days, one year, two years, three years, five years, 10 years, with the time you plan on being here anyways, you will become a thousand percent, 10x the individual that you are right now. God bless you guys. Have a good one.